as I navigated through the maze of encrypted websites, I stumbled upon a forum that seemed to thrive on the grotesque, the market of the forbidden. The threads within were a chilling tapestry of forbidden trades, a digital marketplace where the boundaries of morality were distorted beyond recognition. My heart raced as I browsed through the listings, unable to tear my eyes away from the horrifying offerings. It was in this abyss that I encountered a user named Harvestmaster. Their posts were cryptic, their language veiled in sinister insinuations. But the nature of their trade was unmistakable. A macabre market for body parts, organs, limbs, and even entire cadavers were displayed as commodities, available for those willing to partake in this grim exchange. Horror mingled with fascination as I read through the posts. The offer was ghastly. Body parts sourced from unknown origins, each accompanied by a price that seemed too low for the gravity of the transaction. Disgust and disbelief battled within me as I contemplated the depths to which humanity could sink in the pursuit of profit, the depravity that lurked within the virtual shadows. But as I scrolled through the posts, one listing caught my eye. A perfectly healthy kidney, offered at a fraction of what it should have cost. The sight sent a shiver down my spine, and a sense of revulsion coursed through my veins. Despite the horrors I had encountered on the dark web, the idea of trading in human suffering was a line I couldn't cross. Compelled by a mixture of disgust and righteous anger, I replied to the post, condemning the trade and expressing my shock at the depths of depravity on display. To my surprise, I received a private message from Harvestmaster, a message that dripped with chilling amusement. You judge while standing on the precipice. How noble. Yet, what if I told you that the choice was never yours to make? The word sent a shiver down my spine, a sense of foreboding that wrapped around me like a vice. I typed a response, my fingers trembling as I demanded an explanation for the cryptic message. The reply was swift and haunting, a single sentence that sent my world spinning. You've piqued my interest, I have a proposition for you. The message contained a link that led to a secure chat room, a place where Harvestmaster's voice emerged from the veil of the digital realm. The offer was chilling. Purchase a body part, any body part, and in return I would be granted access to secrets that promised power wealth and influence beyond imagination. Disgust, anger, and morbid curiosity warred within me. The price of knowledge seemed staggeringly high, but the temptation was undeniable. In a moment of weakness, I typed a response, a hesitant acceptance of the offer, a decision that left a bitter taste in my mouth. The days that followed were a haze of anticipation and dread. I made the transaction, a morally reprehensible act that sent waves of guilt crashing over me. In return, I received a digital dossier, information that detailed financial schemes, corporate espionage, and hidden scandals. The knowledge was intoxicating, its allure clouding my judgment. But as I delved deeper into the dark web's whispers, the weight of my actions became undeniable. The information I possessed was a double-edged sword, a tool that could bring both power and destruction. The secrets I had obtained were a reminder that the pursuit of knowledge could lead to a moral abyss, a choice that left scars on my conscience. Haunted by my own decisions, I disconnected from the dark web, the echoes of Harvestmaster's proposition still reverberating in my mind. The experience had been a chilling reminder that the digital abyss held not only the grotesque and forbidden, but also a reflection of the darkest corners of human nature. It was a realm where lines between right and wrong blurred, where the pursuit of knowledge could lead down a treacherous path of moral compromise a path from which escape might prove to be impossible. As I delved into the encrypted depths, little did I know that my curiosity would lead to a chilling encounter that would forever alter my sense of security. Late one night, a message notification blinked on my screen, a private message from a user with the cryptic username Silent Witcher. My heart quickened as I read the message that seemed to possess an eerie prescience. Curiosity has a price. I've been watching you. Dread coiled around my thoughts like a serpent, and my gaze instinctively shifted to the tiny camera perched on top of my laptop screen. The idea that someone might be watching me through that very camera was a terrifying thought that sent shivers down my spine. I reached for a piece of opaque tape and covered the lens, a futile attempt to shield myself from the unseen gaze. With trembling fingers I responded to the message, demanding an explanation for the cryptic claim. Seconds turned into minutes as I waited for a reply, the silence of the room amplifying the pounding of my heart. Finally, a response appeared. 
The darkness of the web holds secrets you can't fathom, but you've attracted their attention. Don't trust what you can't see. The words chilled me to the bone and a sense of vulnerability settled over me. The idea that I had somehow drawn attention from the darker corners of the web was a daunting realization, one that made me feel like a pawn in a sinister game. The laptop, once a portal to endless information and entertainment, now felt like a portal to something far more ominous. As the night wore on, a growing unease kept me from sleep. Every shadow seemed to contain hidden eyes, and every creak of the floorboard sent a jolt of paranoia through my veins. I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched, observed by a presence I couldn't comprehend. In an attempt to regain a semblance of control, I reached out to a friend who was tech-savvy. With their guidance, I meticulously scanned my laptop for malware and potential breaches. The process was a digital dissection of my device, a disconcerting reminder of the vulnerability of our interconnected world. Days turned into weeks, and my unease remained a constant companion. The sense of being watched grew stronger, an invisible weight that followed me wherever I went. Even in public spaces, I couldn't escape the feeling that someone's gaze was fixed upon me, an unrelenting scrutiny that left me perpetually on edge. Then one night, as I was engrossed in a movie, my laptop screen suddenly went black. Panic surged within me as I frantically tapped the keys, willing the screen to come back to life. After what felt like an eternity, the screen flickered to life again. But something was different. A message had been typed on the screen. Do you see what I see? Terror gripped me, and I disconnected the laptop from the internet in a desperate attempt to sever the unseen connection. But the damage had been done. The violation of my digital fortress was undeniable. The very device that was supposed to connect me to the world had become a conduit for a malevolent presence, a window into my private life. As I stared at the now ominous laptop, a chilling realization dawned on me. My actions on the dark web had attracted the attention of something beyond comprehension. The whispered secrets and encrypted messages had drawn me into a web of darkness, a web from which there was no escape. Days turned into nights and the weight of the unseen gaze became an oppressive burden. Every corner of my life felt tainted by the knowledge that someone or something was watching my every move. I became a prisoner in my own home, unable to escape the all-encompassing fear that had taken hold of me. In a last-ditch effort to regain control, I dismantled my laptop, disconnecting the camera and any potential vulnerabilities. But even as I stared at the scattered pieces of technology, I couldn't shake the feeling that the malevolent presence still lingered, a whisper in the digital wind. The encounter with the silent watcher had forever shattered my sense of security. It was a grim reminder that the digital realm held more than just information. It held secrets that could unravel the very fabric of our lives. The dark web's whispers had ensnared me in a web of paranoia. A reminder that in the vast landscape of the internet, one's actions could have consequences that transcended the boundaries of the virtual world and infiltrated the sanctity of reality itself. As I traversed the labyrinthine network of encrypted websites, I stumbled upon a forum that seemed to revel in the macabre, the cryptic bazaar. The threads within were a disturbing mosaic of trades that bordered on the unimaginable, illegal substances, stolen data, and even lives for sale. It was a marketplace where the most depraved desires and twisted ambitions found a digital stage. Amidst this grotesque carnival of transactions, one user stood out, known as Sinister Merchant. Their posts were cryptic and unsettling, hinting at a trade that defied the boundaries of morality. It was in their thread that I found an offer that froze my blood, a proposition to sell a human heart, still beating, for an astronomical price. Revulsion and disbelief crashed over me like a tidal wave. The audacity of such a listing was incomprehensible. The very idea of trading in the vital essence of life a monstrous affront to all that was sacred. I stared at the post, my heart pounding with a mixture of horror and fury grappling with the weight of the decision before me. Fueled by an intense sense of moral outrage, I responded to the post, condemning the trade and challenging the depravity that had been laid bare on the dark web. My words poured forth like a torrent, a digital declaration of my refusal to partake in such abhorrent transactions. But to my astonishment, my response was met not with hostility, but with an unnerving calmness. Morality is a subjective concept, shaped by the limits of your perspective, but I admire your conviction. I have an offer for you, one that transcends the confines of right and wrong. The response sent a shiver down my spine, a premonition of the chilling encounter that awaited me. 
I hesitated before typing my reply, demanding an explanation for this cryptic proposition. The reply was swift as if Sinister Merchant had anticipated my every move, an invitation to a private chat room where the true nature of the offer would be unveiled. With trepidation I entered the chat room, my heart racing as I awaited Sinister Merchant's voice to emerge from the digital void. The offer was both terrifying and seductive, a chance to gain access to a hidden network of power brokers, a circle that controlled the destinies of nations and economies. In exchange for a demonstration of loyalty, I would be granted a seat at their digital table, a position that promised influence beyond imagination. The temptation was undeniable, the allure of power and control intoxicating. The secrets I would obtain were a reflection of the darkest corners of human ambition, a digital treasure trove of hidden knowledge that could reshape the world. But the price was steep, my commitment to participate in transactions that were far more insidious than anything I had encountered before. As I grappled with the decision, a sense of moral vertigo overcame me. The trade of a human heart for power seemed incomprehensible, yet the potential of the knowledge I could gain was equally undeniable. In the end, the lure of secrets whispered in the shadows proved to be my undoing, and I accepted the offer, sealing my fate with a digital covenant. Days turned into weeks as I delved into the dark web's underbelly, conducting transactions that made my stomach turn. The secrets I uncovered were a mirror to the worst aspects of humanity, a testament to the lengths people would go to satisfy their desires for power and control. But with every transaction, the weight of guilt grew heavier, a relentless reminder of the moral abyss I had descended into. As I disconnected from the dark web, I carried with me a digital burden that weighed on my conscience like an anchor. The encounter with Sinister Merchant had exposed the darkest recesses of human ambition, a grim reminder that the pursuit of power could lead to a descent into moral degradation. The secrets I had gained were a double-edged sword, a source of both empowerment and corruption, a haunting reminder that the digital abyss held more than just information. It held a reflection of our own inner darkness,